when we look back on these attacks, there are some common threads here. I want to save the exfiltration one for the end. It looks like about half of them were what I would call traditional ransomware attacks, where if they had a decent backup, they would be able to recover and not pay the ransom. And that's really the that's really the desire in the end is yeah. to not pay the ransom. Another common thread amongst all of these attacks is that they're all different industries. No one is safe from these. We've talked earlier in the podcast about healthcare being affected now. Look right. at all the companies we talked about. There's no one common pattern amongst all of them. You can't say that I will not be impacted by ransomware. I think everyone needs to be to take it seriously and consider and figure out what their contingency plans are when they do get hit. The other thing was a, a few things that I saw in there was that it somewhat humanized the attackers. And by that, they were susceptible to things that humans are susceptible to. So one would be the fact that there was this, what it would appear to be a retaliation attack against yeah. an insurance company for saying they're not going to pay <laughs> ransoms anymore. Also, th there were a couple of times where basically the FBI went after him or, yep. or they attacked too big of a target, like when they attacked Apple and then suddenly you didn't hear it about it anymore. Yep. And I'd like to think that Apple used their connections Clout. to the FBI or whatever. Yep. It doesn't say that they did and maybe they didn't, but I think they picked on somebody a little too big there. Yeah. And this is probably the best good news I have about of this is that these ransomware entities are human yep and that they can be stopped in one way or the other yeah right? they're not a nameless organization that's just somewhere else right it yes they are yeah. they yeah they are uh, no they have really <laughs> stupid names that's yeah. why i laughed at your comment about, they're no, not but, nameless they have names but, but, like, the, but there are humans in the end right. and it's also interesting to see the amount of infighting amongst the ransomware gangs, mm -hmm. how some gangs don't like each other gangs are taking over. So there's almost like a mob style play or cartel style play going on amongst the ransomware gangs themselves. And it's one of those things like there's no honor among thieves. It'd be interesting to continue your analogy with the cartels if like... Revil says, "Hey, we get healthcare, and then Evil Corp, you can have these guys. <laughs> they like their turf. That would be kind of funny but if they were doing that." Remember, also, all a lot of these companies or ransomware gangs, they have affiliates, which is crazy. And so the main company takes a cut of it. The gang takes a cut of whatever the affiliates do. And so right. it's almost like a business of ransomware. It's not just really one gang anymore. It's a whole network of people all working to try to attack corporate companies.